last week like we were we're about to finish chapter two um as you can see here on, on my whiteboard uh, so uh, we did a few examples like some of them they incorporated um, unit conversion and some of them like uh, incorporated speed calculation a few of them like uh, and then distance calculation and so on and so forth okay so those are the questions that we uh, we looked at and those are the solutions um, yeah the, the videos are already uh, out there then uh, so pretty much so what we what we towards the end uh, what we saw last um, in our previous previous class was um, a new term acceleration and we defined it like acceleration is um, the change in velocity you have final velocity minus initial velocity uh, divided by time okay um, uh, then we know that like uh, acceleration is a vector quantity said acceleration is a vector quantity so um, a is vector uh, okay it's a vector quantity um, what do we mean by vector quantity it means uh, direction is important right for vector quantities we said direction is important And when we talked about the unit um, acceleration, the unit, the psi unit of acceleration uh, is the psi unit of velocity, um, which is meter per second, um, and then per time. See, here we have time, right? So the psi unit of acceleration is the combination of the psi unit of velocity and the psi unit of time. So that means uh, second per second meter per second per second right so that has we just call it meter per second squared okay meter per second per second is meter per second squared um, then um, and then like uh, what we did is like um, you know just as a revision as we said so a certain motion can have acceleration okay so that means if motion if the motion has if uh, the motion has acceleration that means the uh, like if the motion has acceleration then uh, we cannot use uh, you know the direct formula that that we we know that like speed is equal to um, speed is equal to distance over time okay this is not a valid a valid formula okay I mean you can use it but but you cannot use it like at the way it is like without just understanding what is happening okay so rather what do we use then because if we talk about there is acceleration it means there is a slowdown and there is also a speeding up okay so therefore if there is acceleration like for accelerated motion For accelerated motion, uh, how do you f how do you find distance? Basically, you need to find distance as the average because you, if the motion is slowing down or, or or speeding up, it means it has two velocities. You have an initial velocity and then you have a final velocity. Okay, so when that happens, like you have initial velocity plus the final velocity divided by two multiplied by time okay so um, you know if there is no acceleration right so um, if there is no acceleration how do you find distance distance is just simply the product of the speed and the time right right I, I was mentioning like to have this like on your formula paper formula paper is like your your cheat shit you know it's, 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 it's you keep it all the time whenever you are taking the exam you will you, know, you will pull it out and then instead of like trying to find oh what is the formula for this what is the formula for that and so on and so forth okay so uh, important uh, you can find distance like this if 
for accelerated motion if the motion is accelerated and the initial velocity is given if the final velocity is given and if time is given then you can use this formula for distance okay but i'm going i'm going to give you another distance formula okay um, distance can also be calculated as the initial velocity multiplied by time plus half of the acceleration multiplied by time square okay yeah this formula looks a little longer than we usually use okay so if initial velocity is given acceleration is given and time is given if final velocity is not given so therefore you will be uh, I mean you will want to use this formula so for accelerated motion you have this equation keep in mind you have another equation okay to calculate distance okay uh, and there is also another equation that probably you may be interested in um, we already said like there are two velocities you have a final velocity and you have a you have an initial velocity if, if you have an accelerated motion uh, then that is the initial velocity plus acceleration times time okay uh, I mean don't worry much about the derivation because um, it can be like a little challenging like just to show you how we came up with this formula and things like that yes you can you can drive it from the very basic equation that you see here like distance is equal to this and you think distance like with the very first equation if you combine this and somehow this it's going to give you another formula or if you combine this and this you will end up with this formula and so on and so forth okay uh, but how the formula is derived drive it and things like that it's not really like you know um, within the scope of this course okay uh, so uh, then just let's try to do a few examples um, so I want you to uh, to look at like example uh, it's not example actually it's it's, it's problem on your textbook it's problem e12 okay so I'm going to read it for you I call it example because I, I, I'm going to solve it anyway uh, so the problem states uh, e12 states that like the velocity of a car decreases from 28 meters per second to 20 meters per second in a time of four seconds what is the average acceleration of the car in this process? So, uh, then as always, like, you know, the best approach for for the problem is to list out the given parameters. What is given? Like, what are my given parameters? Uh, so, you have an initial velocity of you know, the car as 28 meters per second, okay? And you have a final velocity of the car as 20 meter per second. And there is time given as four seconds. Okay. Then now, what are you required to find? The problem literally states like, what is the acceleration of the motion? Okay. So what you can do is like just to to find the solution, okay, then the best way is just to pick the right equation. So, from the very definition of acceleration, we know that acceleration is the change of rate, the rate of change in velocity. That means the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by time. So, now you have the formula, the right formula that you picked for your solution. Then, now it's a matter of substitution. Your final velocity is 20. Your initial velocity is 28 meters per second, okay? And then your time is four. 28, 20 minus 28, is negative 8 
divided by 4 meter per second per second what we say it is that's meter per second squared so therefore your acceleration is negative 2 meter per second squared what does that negative mean here it means the car is slowing down as you can see here like the initial velocity is larger than the final velocity so as a result the car is slowing down okay so you know, if you give me the solution like this then I'm I'm totally fine with it like acceleration is equal to negative 2 meter per second square then that's it okay uh, let's solve another another example e15 from the textbook again uh, I'm going to list out the parameters for you uh, if you don't have your textbook ready yet I'm going to read it so e50 from the textbook it states that a car moving with an initial velocity of 32 meter per second slows down to a constant rate of negative 4 meter per second square okay so it doesn't tell you like uh, so again my given so um you're told the initial state of the motion that's like 32 meter per second squared meter per second sorry it's a velocity and then it says it slows down with negative 4 meter per second squared the problem literally doesn't stay okay doesn't literally stay like the acceleration but it says like slows down it speeds up with a rate of such and such and then you look at the unit the unit that you see here which is in meter per second square then that should tell you like that is acceleration that is acceleration okay so therefore if that is the acceleration then what am I asking then the first part it says like what is the velocity at the end of three seconds so time is also given which is three seconds now what am I required Part A, it's asking me the final velocity. What is the final velocity? So I'm going to write it here. I'm going to do the solution on the side so that you can see what is given and what's at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, yeah, the textbooks, different editions of textbooks just give you different numbers. But the principle and the way you solve the problem is the same. What differs is the number. That's it. Okay? If it says 5 seconds in your textbook, then use 5 seconds and calculate it that way. All right? Perfect. So, now, if you are asking the final velocity, like... And when I when I was doing the review, I gave you those three equations. Again, I want you to write those down on your notebook. Those are like for every question that involves acceleration in some way. Those are the three equations that you will be using. Then what were you asked in the previous problem? You were asked to find the final velocity so which one of those formulas like just literally like tells you how to find final velocity definitely the third one right this one then you pick that one and you go ahead and then solve your problem so that means the final is equivalent to v initial plus acceleration times t okay 
then your final velocity is going to be your initial velocity 32 plus since every every unit is given an SI unit then I'm just I'm just going to deal with just the numbers and I'll put the unit later your acceleration is negative 4 it's given as negative for a reason you are expected to put it as negative because it says like it's it's slowing down the car is slowing down with that rate so you keep the formula at the way it is but put your acceleration as your negative value at the way it is given then you have three therefore your final is going to be 32 then it's a math rule what you have to do is you know you have to use the PEMDAS rule right then you have to deal with your parentheses first you don't do 32 minus 4 in this particular case you have to do the multiplication in the parentheses because multiplication comes before for addition and subtraction so therefore 4 times 30 I mean negative 4 times 3 is negative 12 then you know meter per second so therefore your final velocity is going to be 20 meter per second if you have a different edition of the textbook definitely you're going to have a different a different number but the procedure is the same okay all right then this same problem has a b part under this required then part b it's asking you what distance does the car travel during this process then you are asked to determine distance then b okay so which one of the formulas would you want to use so now since you already found the final velocity so you look at the formula the first formula initial velocity given final velocity you already calculated it time is also already given so therefore you can use this formula I mean this I mean me, me use that, that color I mean to me that means like you can use this formula you can okay because you already found the final velocity but if this problem was framed in such a way that like it didn't require the final velocity calculation you can directly apply this equation to the one that I'm highlighting it now both will give you the same answer they have to give you the same answer that can be used as a verification if you want to so let's go ahead and then like you know try to solve it like with with only the given three parameters in the problem that means initial velocity acceleration and time we know that the second formula for d which says initial velocity times t plus half times acceleration times t squared can be applied so therefore your d is going to be your v initial which is 32 times time 3 plus acceleration negative 3 no negative 4 sorry time squared which is 3 squared if you do that like multiplication 32 times 3 is 66 plus half and 2 this is negative 4 times 9 which is going to be negative 36 okay. so division comes before addition so by 2 1 by 2 this is negative 18 okay 
So then your D is going to be 66 minus 18. Okay. So 66 66 minus 18 How much would that be? So 16 6 It's 48, right? Yeah, 48 Meter. Yes. Yeah, that's 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 going. I'm going to use it as my verification. That's that's an excellent point. Okay. Then, uh, it's let's let's put it as a check. It's an excellent question. So, uh, why why I used this formula first this formula first because let's assume that you know problem i mean problem a wasn't there if you were directly asked to determine the distance if the initial velocity the acceleration and the time are given okay so that means without finding the final velocity okay so without finding the final velocity you can you can you can you can solve it this way and then let's verify like using the first formula if we can if we can solve it like so d equals v average the average velocity times time so your distance is going to be v initial plus v final divided by 2 multiplied by time you cannot use distance is equal to velocity times time in this particular problem why? Because you have two velocities. You don't have one velocity, and the car isn't really moving in, like in a uniform motion. Uniform motion means like with a constant motion. This one is rather with an acceleration. So therefore, so you verified your v initial. The given v initial was 32. Your v final was 420. So. We already calculated that, right? So 32 plus 20 divided by 2 multiplied by the time is 3. So 32 plus 20 is what? 52 times 3. So <coughs> 52 divided by 2 uh, did we make any mistake around here let's see oh yeah that's true sorry thank you so this is okay that's that's true three times two is six that yeah this is 96 so thank you for following up uh, again this is 96 then this is 78 so therefore yeah then you multiply this like 26 multiplied by 3 then u d is going to be 78 meter okay so therefore in both cases you get 78 okay so therefore yeah that's how you you approach it like this this those are like more mostly like 